sport has to be included not just for the bathroom, but for how it's set up. Looking at the layout gives you the impression that the kitchen and bathroom share a space, but that's where the ingenuity comes in. The kitchen is housed in a self-contained slide-out that sits over the shower floor, revealing the full extent of the design once it's opened. This allows for it to be used both indoors and outdoors as well. The lounge area and table are located in the rear of the trailer, which also serves as a garage-style space for any outdoor gear while traveling. Sleeping accommodations come from the lounge seating, which converts to a queen bed, while another motorized queen bed lowers from the ceiling as needed. Once again, more ultra-cool bunk bed mojo. This vehicle from South African manufacturer Kenneth Caravans and Motorhomes has a lot to offer. The feature list of this monster deserves its own video. It provides you with all of the bells and whistles you look for in a suitable caravan, including independent suspension. Additionally, there is a galvanized chassis, quick-release support struts, a fiberglass monocoque outer shell, and a corrosion-free body. A 32-gallon water tank with an optional 32 gallons more if you need it, This one from Caracan is simply named the Transform Camper. This is done by first manually cranking up the roof and then pulling the sliding portion out. Built on a Suzuki carry chassis, the box expands to create a space that is roughly 76 square feet with a height of 9.5 feet. The interior houses bench seating with a wall attached fold down table, a small countertop with a sink, and a mini fridge. There's room to sleep up to four people using the roof-mounted fold-down bed and by modifying the benches to a bed as well. Taking the family traveling is no small feat considering everything you need, or think you need, in your choice of caravan. The Mantis from Houston's Taxa Outdoors might be the one due to its features and functionality. Inside, starting at the front, is a couch spanning the width of the trailer that doubles as a set of bunk beds. Moving back finds a self-contained wet bath with a cassette toilet. Next to this is the galley, having a stainless steel sink and dual burner cooker, while directly opposite is a counter area that can be used for dining or food prep. Filling out the back of the trailer is a dinette that converts to an almost queen-size sleeper. From front to back, almost every bit of extra space is modified to be used as extra storage. Large windows all around open to provide plenty of natural light and airflow, giving an already roomy interior the impression of a space larger than it actually is. South Dakota's Trail Manor manufactures what has to be the most innovative design on a trailer since the boom of the 50s and 60s. The largest of these is the 3124 series. In transit, it has a length of 24 feet, which expands to 31 feet when opened, allowing it to be towed with the ease of a camper trailer while still providing all the comfort and features of a full-size trailer.
Housed in the rear is a sleeping area containing a king-size bed. Next to this is the bathroom, having a tub with a shower, a recirculating toilet, and a sink. Moving forward finds a split-style kitchenette, which has a basin sink, an 85-liter refrigerator, and a three-burner cooktop sitting opposite. Depending on which of the three layouts are chosen, the front can have either a dinette, which doubles as an extra double bed, a dinette and an extra queen bed, or a couch spanning the width of the trailer. If the idea of toting your home around in your van and unpacking it when needed appeals to you, then the IO camper is probably what you're looking for. It expands to four times its original size, creating a space that includes a bedroom, two living areas, a kitchen, and a bathroom. This next entry by XP Camper is the V2 Compact. It offers the same hard-sided pop-up design and construction of the V1, just in a smaller form. The upper shell of the camper raises to create a standing area just under 8 feet high. The rear door opens to an interior that has a dinette area with seating for two on the left, while across from that is a kitchenette that includes a dual induction cooktop, sink, and a mini refrigerator. Sleeping accommodations are provided by a double bed and by modifying the bench seating. There are also three 100 watt roof mounted solar panels to provide power. If you ask for liner style quality in a low profile motorhome, this is the company you'd ask and this is the vehicle you'd expect. The slim design does a good job of hiding the almost seven and a half feet width. It comes in two models offering differences in the sleeping and seating accommodations with lengths of just under 23 feet and just over 24 and a half feet. The bedroom area is housed in the rear with the choice of either a queen bed or two twin beds. There's also a sunroof and two side windows that allow natural light and airflow. 
Multiple storage areas are available for use both under the beds and in the floor. Moving forward, there's a uniquely styled bathroom that has a cassette toilet and wash basin with a mirror that both rotate into compartments in the wall, allowing for a larger shower space. The kitchen is concealed in what appears to be a regular cabinet, but when the flip top lids are opened, it reveals a dual burner cooktop and sink. a slimline 14-liter refrigerator with a freezer and bottle drawer. The lounge area has two choices of seating, either in a double bench style with a removable table or a single bench and extra captain's chair with an extendable bar area. This seating can be modified to create an extra twin bed if needed. Like many vehicles and tech we showcase on this channel, this camper stands out in the crowd. The large angular atrium box in the rear sits prominently displayed atop the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. The interior and features a full kitchenette and bathroom. There is a loft cot near the front end of the atrium. The banquet table transforms into a king-sized bed. In the rear, is where the camper gets its name from. Six portholes, three on each side, mark glass windows that can eliminate prying eyes with just the press of a button. This new prototype from Texino offers off-grid HVAC, 600 watts of solar energy, 600 amps of battery power, 200 gallons of fresh water, 50 gallons of gray water, 25 gallons of black water. As far as safety measures go, there is an onboard air compressor, two spare tires, The sleek design and light weight of this off-road hybrid camper is one of the many options available for campers who have a compact approach to travel yet still want to go other than just the closest national park. The interior, although adequate in height, employs a pop-up roof which increases the standing room to just under six and a half feet. The L-shaped kitchen area includes a dual burner cooktop and sink, both with glass covers as well as a 140 liter mini fridge. Twin benches with an adjustable table between them separate the rear kitchen from the sleeping area in the front, which includes a queen-size bed. Outside, which is where you want to be anyway when you're camping, you'll find an extra kitchen unit which slides out to reveal a sink, dual burner cooktop, and two large prep areas. Options on the awning can provide an enclosure at the rear, allowing use of the external shower head. Power comes from a 105 amp hour battery which can be supplemented with an optional 120 watt solar panel. Pricing on this one will run you around $50,000 before options. Clean energy is finding its way everywhere and the Stella Vita is supposedly the first solar powered mobile home. This milestone was designed by a team of university students that go by the name of Eindhoven. The prototype is a step toward a greener future. The students aim to draw attention to energy consumption with all features powered by solar energy, from driving, to cooking, to even taking a shower. An infotainment system displays the power levels available and how the user can utilize the energy. And while on a full charge, this sun-hungry vehicle can travel a full 450 miles. Don't worry too much though, because the whole system can be fully recharged in just two sunny days. Aside from being all solar powered, the Stella Vita happens to sport a unique design that is striking and efficient. The roof splays outward onto a set of wing-like structures to double the solar surface area. The Earth Roamer is one of the meanest looking campers on the market. 
Built on a four-wheel drive turbo diesel Ford F550 chassis, this one-piece camper body is entirely self-sufficient and all-weather capable. The roof of the vehicle is lined with solar panels and coupled with a 12,000 watt-hour battery bank and two gas tanks that can hold a combined 95 gallons. So when you get to your destination, you don't have to leave or worry about running out of power. Inside this fantastic camper, you'll find all the comforts of home, including a large living area, dinette, and full galley, full-size bathroom, television, and full surround sound. With a multitude of options, it has enough room to sleep four people with the full-size bed over the truck cab and a fold-out bed in the living area. In all honesty, I'd live in this thing full-time. The Australian-based manufacturer Unidon is renowned for its ability to make Unimog It features one of the most innovative ideas to date. Every piece of equipment that controls the vehicle, the steering wheel, pedals, etc., can slide completely from one side of the vehicle to the other. Overkill is the name of the game with this behemoth, featuring a 400 amp hour lithium battery system with a 3000 watt inverter, 800 watt rooftop solar, and C zone digital switching in the top level model. It features an impressive kitchenette with a diesel cooktop, marine oven, microwave, a two person dinette, TV, and rooftop air conditioner. If you truly want the ultimate experience in a motorhome that can go anywhere, including internationally, then the Unimog Global Explorer is the one for you.
If you've been thinking of getting a convertible, then you may want to pass on the high-end sports car. This effort from German-based Skydancer is the world's first convertible motorhome. Yes, I said motorhome. The electrically controlled roof opens by sliding to the rear and can remain open while driving. And just so we're clear, this isn't a sunroof or a skylight. It's the whole front of the roof that retracts. It measures in at 23 feet in length, just over 7 feet in width, and 10 feet in height. That doesn't sound outside the realm of normal until you take into account that the lack of a standard cab means the driver is sitting up top while operating the vehicle. This terrace, which integrates seamlessly into the rest of the living space, includes four chairs and a small table. The living area includes a large wet bath with a slide-out sink, a kitchenette opposite that, and a full-size bed. There's also additional sleeping room in the previously mentioned terrace as it transforms to a full-size bed if needed. An added bonus, which seems to be more commonplace, is the rear garage area spanning the width of the vehicle. It's spacious enough to hold up to four bicycles, so it's safe to say that the sky's the limit on any other gear you may want to take with you. If you enjoyed this video, you could help us out by hitting the like button, subscribe, and keep up to date on future posts. This one from Sylvan Sport has to be included not just for the bathroom, but for how it's set up. Looking at the layout gives you the impression that the kitchen and bathroom share a space, but that's where the ingenuity comes in. The kitchen is housed in a self-contained slide-out that sits over the shower floor, revealing the full extent of the design once it's opened. This allows for it to be used both indoors and outdoors as well. The lounge area and table are